Hi guys, welcome to UCAS. So many people actually ask us on, you know, how do you solve with Wi-Fi coverage? So we decided to do this video to actually explain to you what are the causes of poor Wi-Fi signal coverage and what can you do to actually solve them. Here we go. Number one, you have an underspec router in a big house. Now, house size do matter, okay? You just can't expect even a router like Plash Speed to actually support a bungalow or even a mansion. It just doesn't work that way. And this is also exactly why we built a router suggestion tool which you can use as a reference uh, to check out what kind of house size needs which kind of router or even mesh Wi-Fi. I'll drop the link down below in the description box, so please do check it out. Then reason number two is, you need to understand is that wireless signal gets weaker if you are too far away from the router. This is just physics. The closer you are to your Wi-Fi router, the stronger signal that you can get. The further away you are, the slower it will be. So your router placement matters a lot. Try to place your router in an open environment without any enclosure, without anything you know on top of it, below of it, you know, or even put it within the cabinet because Wi-Fi signals get weaker if they need to penetrate through solid objects. Which brings us then to our fourth point your house have thick walls. As explained before, the more walls that a Wi-Fi signal needs to penetrate, the weaker it becomes. We had an experience where just standing behind a ladder reduces the Wi-Fi signal by two bars. Now that you have understand like the four main reasons of the weak Wi-Fi coverage, let's move into how can you actually enhance your Wi-Fi coverage? So solution number one, use a Wi-Fi extender. The good part about this is that it is cheap and affordable and it extends your Wi-Fi coverage. It just does its job so well. The bad part about this is that it may not offer you the best performance. So it's a give and take. So you can, you can typically look around entry level from 40 ringgit to 400 ringgit depending, depending on your capacity and depending on your budget. The second solution is power line adapter. The good part about power line adapter is that it actually creates a Wi-Fi network for you by using the electrical wires in your house. So this is the good part. You don't need to hack your house for Ethernet cables or anything. But the bad part or the tricky part is that it is highly dependent on your wiring quality and you will need to know how to identify which power line for single phase, three phase or even in a house where you have multiple DB box because this may impact your performance. Budget wise, it can range from 100 to close to 400 ringgit depending on your depending on your requirement. Solution number three, mesh Wi-Fi. We highly recommend you to try this because this is designed to tackle Wi-Fi coverage issues. The good part about this is that you will definitely get superior Wi-Fi coverage and seamless internet. The bad part is that it is a single SSID. In other words, you only have for like one Wi-Fi to connect to and it doesn't allow you to actually choose between 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. So budget-wise, it can range from 100 to 1,005 depending on your requirement. Now the fourth solution is to upgrade your router. Upgrading your router is only a viable choice only if you have identified that your router is under spec for your house. Now, how do you know that your router is under spec for your house? Please do check out our router suggestion tool in the description box down below. The good part about router is that it is suitable for those performance gigs, comes with superior chipset, and it is the source of the problem because it broadcasts Wi-Fi signal, right? And the pricing may vary because based on your specifications. The bad part about this is that uh, sometimes a lot of us may go overkill, especially for networking enthusiasts. Like I want maximum performance, so I will. I don't mind to pay that extra 300, 400, or even 1,000. For example, you are on a 500 Mbps plan, but you are using a 1 Gbps specifications router just for the sake of future proof. So budget-wise, it can range from anything from 100 entry level to 3,000, depending on your depending on your requirement. So here you go with all the solutions. We hope that you are able to find what you need based on your budget. If you'd like to compare between mesh Wi-Fi and routers, please do reach out to us on UCAS Networking or even join our Wi-Fi community group. That's it for today. We'll see you guys next time.